Crucified her, put cuts in her arm like they brutalized her, gave her dope for her apartment. That's how you utilize her. Put needles in her. Hold up. Put needles in her body. Put needles in her body. But I ain't a voodoo doctor. Grams in a. Like like she go head first like a scuba diver. She go. Love. She go head first like a scuba diver. She called me for the bricks. I pull up on her like an Uber driver. I was in my life, she had a nose problem. She fell asleep in the coke watching soap operas. I, nigga, I was bagging on my lap for the dough knockers and had the white on my jeans like I stonewashed them. Nigga. Nigga. Oh. With uh, Shotgun Shug and T-Top. And um, I figured I'd chime in. Here's what I here's what I see, you know. T Top is incredibly talented. Nobody's questioning that. Um, we've seen T Top just do some um, uh, amazing um, performances and uh, held his own against the best. I mean, John John clips. You know, there's a lot of battles out there that you can see he really hasn't lost up until this point with Shotgun Shook. And to be honest with you, I thought Shotgun Shook was overmatched going into this battle. I really didn't think. I thought this was just going to be another stop, you know, another notch on T-Top's belt going into Summer Madness. Well, to be quite honest with you, I was surprised. Surprised. I didn't go to the redemption, and I was surprised to hear that T-Top lost. Not only was I surprised to hear that T-Top lost, I was surprised to hear it was a 3-0. And I was totally prepared to watch, watch it, you know, without uh, making any judgments, and See if I could at least give him a round. Um, so I'll go right into it. The first round, to me, was a really good round by T Top. Um, he went first, but to be quite honest with you, after T Top finished, which he pretty much gave you a nice storytelling round. He didn't really. Some of his storytelling can be for the person in front of him, and some of his storytelling could be for anybody. And that's that's. The beginning of, of his problems, especially now that we as battle rap fans can get to examine T Top and exploit what he does well and what he avoids. So when Shotgun Shook starts out, he starts out immediately with punches, aggression, and physicality. There's no storytelling. It's a smack crowd, and smack crowds, well, people don't realize smack crowds can adjust to the battler or the battle. They're not just gun bar, you know, uh, ready to cheer, you know, crowds. It's a, they want to hear more than just gun bars. It's a very intelligent crowd that's there. But if you lull them to sleep with storytelling and the next battler comes in there with punches, physicality, and aggression, you're in for a long night. And that's what Chilla Jones had to realize. And Chilla Jones, we all know, is one of the best with the pen and probably great in a small room. Uh, I don't think there's too many people that want to battle Chilla in a small room. But on a big stage, your punches got to be quicker. 
Your aggression needs to be there. Your stage presence needs to be there. And here, both people have stage presence. It's not the question, but should kind of sunned him after the first round. So I gave Suge the first round. The second round, I'm trying to think, well, if I could give T-Top the second round, well, then we could see what happens in the third. Well, I watched the second round, and T-Top had a decent second round. It wasn't, wasn't crazy. Again, some storytelling, same format, not much change. When Shotgun goes, it's back to the aggression, back to the pushing and shoving. The crowd likes that. I mean, I don't think Shotgun would do that with a person that he knows he can. Like, Shotgun is not going to push math around. He's not going to push Hitman around, but I think he thinks he could get away with it with T-Top. So he kind of gets into straight punch, and he had some great punches. He really, he says, uh, we don't, nobody knows you in the hood like the lady, that, like the girl that be screaming. He said, nobody knows you in the hood like the girl that be screaming Maybach music. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he had stuff that the hood could recognize and relate to, and he really had the crowd. That's the next thing. Shotgun had the crowd from the beginning to the end. Um, and he had the crowd on stage too. So he had the crowd on stage and he had the crowd in the building. Um, the third round, we all know what happened in the third round. T-Top kind of unravels. He starts talking to the crowd. He starts getting booed. And he was, you know, looking for... He was looking for the kind of support that he normally got. And he just didn't get it. So I got this I got this battle 3-0 shotgun should. I know that some people are going to say 2-1. Uh, T-Top, and believe me, uh, no one likes T-Top more than me, and um, I'm not the biggest fan of Shotgun Shook, but I have to say, if this Shotgun Shook shows up to Summer Madness to battle Hitman, hopefully that happens, that could be an interesting battle. That could be a real interesting battle. But um, that's what I got. Hit me, um, that's what I got. Mad Dog, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy, subscribe. Broken wings Hands are coming Hear me once again So I can fly Right or wrong, to live my life as an outlaw all along, remain strong in this planet for